Okay, so today I just wanted to talk about how I think the sexual dynamics between men and women in general are messed up. And I also wanted to talk about a, some comments that I left on a fellow YouTuber's video. His name is Mind Round, and I'll put a link to the video that I commented on. Um, and he subsequently blocked me, but I... I didn't say anything abusive. I was just expressing my opinion. And to me, it's very cowardly to block someone from commenting on your video just because um, they happen to disagree with you. <laughs> you know, to me, like, if you really feel strongly about your opinions, you'll want to defend those opinions or... You know, if you want to dismiss them, fine, but I don't know. I'm not saying you didn't have the right to block me, whatever. It's just me personally, like, the people that I've blocked, and that there haven't been that many, have been people that were, you know, in some way abusive. I've never blocked anyone just because they disagreed with me about something. Um, anyway, so back to talking about the sexual dynamics between men and women. Um, specifically I want to talk about, um, marriage, uh, prostitution, and, uh, single mothers. And, um, I think I have been debating on another video in the comments, um, basically, uh, people within the men's rights movement for the most part support legalized prostitution and think that um, it would basically be a good thing because it would reduce the power that women have over men if they could just go out and, and pay for sex, I guess, instead of getting sucked into relationships and marriage and parenthood and and all of these things which because you know of the current legal structures in which we live in the western world have become very um, risky institutions for men to enter into um, it is true that when it comes to parental rights women have a distinct advantage in the court system um, legally when it comes to custody, visitation, child support, um, you know, men can often be held responsible for financially for children that they did not biologically father, um, you know, just because they happened to be maybe around for a significant amount of time while the child was growing up. And to me, I, I do think that that is um, unfair. And I, I've said in previous videos, I think that men getting thrown in jail for child support, not paying child support, is beyond ridiculous. It is a throwback to um, debtors prisons and I just I I don't agree with it <laughs> um, in some cases I mean I will believe that men should pay child support but um, definitely the, the legal enforcement mechanisms that are used to force men to pay child support are very questionable um, and I don't think that they really benefit anybody. Um, I think that they basically cause more problems than they solve. That's just my personal opinion. Um, but anyway, I think the reason, one reason, the primary reason that sexual dynamics between women, men and women are so messed up is that um, women are, I think, by and large, biologically programmed to seek out a certain type of man, um, and I think it generally that's about 20% of the male population. So basically you have 
20% of men approximately that can sort of have their pick of sexual partners and then the rest are sort of scrambling for either the 20% that's, you know, that, that isn't looking for the, uh, for lack of a better term, alpha males, um, and also, you know, are maybe seeking women that are willing to, for financial gain, settle for men that they don't necessarily find sexually desirable in exchange for financial reward, and be that prostitution or gold digging in the form of uh, purposely getting pregnant in order to exact child support out of a man, um, getting married because a man has money, um, you know, with the intent that you don't really love him, you're just using him for his money. Um, I think that a lot of times men use women for sex and manipulate them emotionally to get sex. And I think women a lot of times um, manipulate men emotionally to get money. And you know, feminists obviously decry it when um, men manipulate women to get sex. And then, of course, male rights advocates will decry it when women manipulate men to get money. Um, but, you know, I really wish, I, I think that ultimately they're they, they should be able to find common ground and agree that um, any sort of manipulation and uh, di dishonesty and uh, disregard of a person's humanity is wrong. And it's wrong when men do it, it's wrong when women do it. And you can try to justify it by men do this or women do this and therefore they deserve what they get but to me that it just isn't a valid argument you're just feeding into the problem and I think the the phenomenon of 80% of women seeking out 20% of men um, I think that has been something that has led to a lot of uh, single parenthood, you know, when premarital sex, extramarital sex is more uh, acceptable in society, um, I think that it's inevitable that um, you're going to have women that are going to have sexual relationships and get pregnant hoping that that is going to manipulate men into supporting them, staying with them, being faithful to them, um, and ultimately it doesn't. Um, and it is a sad thing. Um, but I... I don't know. I think the callousness with which a lot of men treat women is a problem too. I, I just think that the mistreatment and the dehumanization goes both ways. And I mean you could argue all day long about which is worse, but ultimately I think you would have to say that it's it's all less than ideal and you really can't justify it. <sighs> now back to the Mind Round video about where he basically does this rant about how he will never date a single mother, um, more or less because of the way that laws are and he doesn't want to become a child support slave and blah blah blah. That's all well and good. You know, he's entitled to his opinion, but 
uh, as someone who is not quite a single mother, but I've been separated for over a year now, and I don't anticipate that I will ever reconcile my marriage, so uh, at some point, very soon, I'm going to be a single mother. And I, I know that it isn't always um, that single mothers are not always um, unworthy partners. And we're not all gold diggers, we're not all women that are uh, simply seeking fathers for our children. Um, my personal attitude is that yes, I would like to uh, find a man who is willing to be a financial partner with me and is willing to not necessarily be a parental partner but with me but is willing to care about my child simply because they care about me and my child is in my eyes an extension of me you know to an extent um you know my my kids are my heart, you know, I would lay down my life for them in a second. Um, so it's difficult for me to imagine being in a relationship with someone who saw my kids as a burden or I saw my kids as merely, you know, a competitor for their attention and um, didn't value my children at all. And, you know, I have been a stepchild, um, and my stepmother was very resentful of me. So, I know what it's like to be a child in that situation, and I have sympathy, you know. I mean, some stepchildren are nightmares and you know sometimes step parents and stepchildren end up having a fulfilling meaningful positive relationship even more positive than that child has with their biological parents and I understand where he's coming from in the video in terms of not wanting to become a child support slave I, I would have to definitely agree that um, legally the way that child support is set up where, you know, men can be railroaded into financially supporting um, kids that aren't biologically theirs. I agree that that is uh, not right and not fair. Um, you know, at the same time, I don't, I don't think that you should assume that that there aren't any single mothers out there that are worth risking that for. Um, I, I don't know. I just, it, it's hard for me to be dismissed out of hand by someone else for being a single mother as being undateable when I know that I'm a decent person and that, you know, there, there are I've always been a devoted partner to the people that I've been with. I mean, I haven't been perfect, but I think that I have been better than a lot of people. <laughs> um, I've always worked. I've never expected a man to support me. Um, I, it's difficult for me to imagine ever having that attitude of entitlement. It's just not, um, it's just not in my nature. You know, I don't know. I, I just, you know, and there are single mothers out there who were just straight up abandoned by the fathers of their kids, you know, or who were widowed you know, or had the the father of their child passed away, 
or, you know, maybe found out that the father of their child was married and they didn't know. I mean, you know, there are all kinds of scenarios where people could become single mothers and it isn't because they just were stupid and went out and got knocked up by the wrong person. Um, you know, sometimes, and you know, and everybody makes mistakes in life. I don't, you know, if you're going to use that as criteria to reject someone, then you're going to end up rejecting, you know, everybody that you come across because nobody is perfect. So, I don't know, it just struck me as being, um, short-sighted and bigoted and, like I said, the fact that I disagreed with him and he just automatically blocked me for disagreeing with him and told me that if I didn't agree with his video, then I shouldn't watch it, like he's my father or something, I just, I mean, really, you know, I, I just, it just struck me as, as being, um, I don't know, like I say, I'm, I'm somebody that welcomes a certain amount of debate, and I just think that it, it's cowardly not to do that. I think that if you aren't willing to debate your feelings or beliefs or ideas that, you know, you really couldn't hold to them that strongly, that's just my, my feeling, so, anyway, that's what I wanted to say about sexual dynamics between men and women, and thank you for watching.